Hello, good evening and welcome to Midlands Today. This Wednesday evening, tonight, the experiment that could transform our city centres. It's happening in Coventry, where dozens of traffic lights are being ripped out, leaving drivers somewhat bewildered. The idea behind it is to speed up traffic, but not everyone is convinced it'll work without compromising safety. The multi-million pound scheme is part of plans to get traffic moving freely before the city plays host to football as an Olympic sport in next year's Games. Here's our transport correspondent, Peter Plisner. Like most cities, Coventry has its fair share of traffic lights, but now at some junctions they're disappearing and instead look like this. Well, it works by sort of taking away the normal cues for drivers, you know, things like traffic lights, give way markings, arrows or whatever, and by creating, you know, a certain amount of ambiguity. And it sounds a little ironic, but it actually causes people to think and take care. You know, how often do drivers see a, a green traffic light or an amber light and put their foot down and go for it? This would be pretty daring on a normal road, but even with a pushchair walking across this new junction, for some, seems a natural way to go. But the big question is, is it safe? People who say it's dangerous, you know, I have to take more care coming through this junction, well, spot on, that's what we wanted. From a pedestrian point of view, this junction really does seem to work. Because there are no road markings, no one quite knows who has right of way. And I have to say, as a pedestrian, it does feel much safer. For the driver, it's a different experience. As you approach the junction, you feel less confident and the natural instinct is to slow down. But I have to say, with no traffic lights in existence, you do get through the junction much quicker. But not everyone seems so enthusiastic about it. You don't know whether it's actually been made into a pedestrian area or just a, a drive-through. It's really confusing. I, I tend to think the only reason people scare, uh, slow down is because they're a little bit more afraid, really. And I think it's... It is a bit of an accident waiting to happen. I think there needs to be a roundabout or some form of system there because without it there's just no priority and people are going all over the place. But nevertheless, shared space, as it's been called, has been accepted elsewhere. In places like Holland, it's helped reduce some serious road accidents. And this is a recent scheme installed in Ashford in Kent. Experts say it all makes perfect sense. Well, shared surface spaces are all about giving priority dominance back to pedestrians and cyclists. Historically, a huge growth in car ownership meant that roads took, took a lot of dominance and priority over our spaces. It's about giving that back to people now. In addition to removing traffic lights, transport officials in Coventry also want to introduce a blanket 20 miles per hour speed limit on all roads within the city centre. Well, let's go live now to Peter, who's at a busy junction in the centre of Birmingham for us tonight. Peter, this scheme you've been telling us about in Coventry, is it likely to be tried elsewhere then? Well, it does seem to be catching on, uh, but there are still worries about accidents. There's talk of schemes all over the country, but they've been slow to materialise, although in Coventry it's happened pretty quickly, partly because it's an Olympic city next year and they want to uh, ensure, I guess, that uh, the city doesn't get gridlocked. But um, uh, the concept itself uh, has um, sort of won't work every it won't work at a busy junction like this, it's simply too busy, but uh, there are lots of junctions where it will work. You mentioned it's been tried uh, in other countries. Is it generally looked on as a success or not? I think so. Certainly five years ago I went to Draken in uh, northern Holland and that's where they first tried this idea. They took out the traffic lights and all of a sudden uh, cars and pedestrians seemed to coexist. They tried other things like new road surfaces and taking road markings away and they seem to work too and it's a refined version of that that we're getting here. Peter, thanks very much. And in Birmingham, 800...